Welcome to this video. 50K Global Expansion. Geneticists detected a wide, successful and rather global human expansion, this 50 to 70,000 years ago. This expansion possibly means that almost all today's humans descended all or mainly from this single expansion. I suppose that for many people out of Africa will spring to mind as the source of this expansion. In this video I will argue that this expansion does not really support the out of Africa hypothesis well. Ancient Austronesian Expansion The Austronesian expansion and its expansion area are described in scientific literature, but little known to the general public. It is proven recently that Amerinds were early settlers of Polynesia, Nature, 2020, and we already knew before that Polynesia is the starting point of the Austronesian expansion to the west and in the direction of Africa and possibly the Mediterranean, Black Sea and Europe. Several eastern Polynesian populations have signs of a background signature, genetic traces from distant ancestors, that originated from native South American people. Nature, 2020. From a genetic standpoint this Austronesian expansion, also, delivers and expands the Amarind YHPC and the Amarind M45 marker, possibly also the dominant Amazon Amarind M3 marker very early on, all three are Amarind markers and have their root in the Americas, to a large area that includes Polynesia and Australia and that probably consequently is called the Austronesian expansion area. As such this expansion has the potential to populate most of the world. This is so because C is a giant group by itself and will give further rise to the most important other groups like D, E, dominant in Africa, R, Australia, Indonesia, Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, etc., and at the most minimum departed from the coasts, Americas, Oceania, or are delivered at the coasts, Australia, Eurasia, Middle East and Africa, of all populated continents. This way C and descendants are reaching out directly or indirectly to all or most of the most ancient cultures and indirectly to the modern world. This Austronesian expansion area is recognized and verified to start in Polynesia in the Pacific Ocean, and probably was in reach of the west coasts of the Americas, and expands to the west and in the direction of Africa, at least until Madagascar and the east coast of Africa, but possibly as far west as West Africa. Early on this expansion also gives origin to the enigmatic aboriginals in Australia, who are minimum 50,000 years old and as expected carry the Amarind Y-DNA haplogroup C and the Amarind M45 marker. At least on occasions consensus includes these aboriginals in the out-of-Africa hypothesis, migrating by the coasts, but this raises significant paradigms for out-of-Africa, amongst others. 1. Why and how the far and difficult to reach Australia was reached by Africans so early on or even first. 2. Why and how Amarind Sea landed first in Polynesia including as far east as the east side of the Pacific Ocean, possibly reaching out to the whole west coast of the Americas. Especially since currents and winds clearly come from the east and drive obligatory west, and treacherous oceans and or seas have to be crossed for Africans to reach Australia and especially isolated islands in front of the west coast of South America, Easter Island, and North America, Hawaii. Consensus claims laid aside, all above, including the Australian aboriginals that carry the Amarind Sea just like the Polynesians to the east and the rest of Austronesians to the west do carry the Amarind Sea fits genetically very well in the above-described important, successful, and rather global Austronesian expansion of humans 50 to 70,000 years back. The above-described expansion, as said, does not depart from Africa because it expands exactly into the direction of Africa and this from start to finish. I hypothesize that this same Austronesian expansion goes behind the already enormous area that already is recognized and verified by science and consensus. I also hypothesize that the above expansion, just as it delivered the Amarind Sea and the Amarind M45 to Austronesia, which includes Japan, Indonesia and the Andaman Islands, that at the time were connected to Asia because of the 120 meters lower sea levels, also delivered to Eurasia, Middle East and Africa it was completely connected to or part of. I hypothesize that this same Austronesian expansion also delivers the same Amarind Sea and Amarind M45 marker to Europe, this following the African West Coast, that already is part of the maximum Austronesian expansion, by boats and possibly by first deviating westward to pick up the North Atlantic gyre. This because of certain archaeological evidence and because the conquistadores later also made it back to Europa by deviation westward in order to pick up the North Atlantic gyre, many thousands of years later.
I hypothesize that the Austronesian expansion or the Amerind expansion used kind of not so bulky long boats and propulsion by currents and additional rowers and sails, similar to the sea people and Vikings that could navigate near coasts or even following ocean gyres independent of currents and winds. Sea people and their technologies appeared kind out of nothing, which can best be explained by this kind of ships. I dare to hypothesize that the Austronesian expansion also populated Europe in a similar way. 1. Because, roughly in the same period, Cro-Magnon, or the early anatomically modern humans, AMH, that also carries the Amaranth C and M45, just like Polynesians and Austronesians did, which is an indication for further extension, populated Europe and probably turned over the Neanderthal in that area and disappears as soon as Amaranth C, and the Amaranth M45 marker, appear. In other words there is no need to explain the supposed Neanderthal DNA fraction in modern humans because the Austronesian expansion that I, J.M., hypothesized to have populated Europe, carried the same markers and DNA, Amaranth M45, the Neanderthal did. 2. Because out of Africa could not deliver C as early as 50,000 years ago, because C was a descendant of the Amaranths, and according to consensus the out-of-Africa expansion could depart populating the Americas with Amarins only 12,600 years ago. Ancient Northeast Asian Expansion There is also an expansion to ancient Northeast Asia that gave origin to the Malta people that carried Y-DNA haplogroup R1 and consequently M45 and M3, and existed at least 25,000 years ago. The Malta people are also called or part of what is called the ancient Northeast Asians. This all seems to also fit the by me hypothesized more ample Austronesian expansion that departs out of the Americas, this time to Northeast Asia and possibly to all of Eurasia. The same expansion that at some point will deliver QM242 of the PM45 lineage. I dare to hypothesize that the Austronesian expansion also populated Eurasia. Because roughly in the same period Amarins, that also carries QM242, and consequently M45, just like Polynesians and Austronesians did, populated Eurasia and probably turned over the Neanderthal in that Eurasian region. This possibly so for a second time, at least in Europe, if QM242 arrived later than the Cro-Magnon or the early anatomically modern humans, AMH. I dare to hypothesize that this more ample Austronesian expansion was the one that delivered the Amaranth QM242 and its Amaranth M45 marker to Siberia and the rest of Eurasia again, because out of Africa could not deliver, in time, QM242. That is believed to have reached around the Altai Mountains area and south-central Siberia approximately 17,000 to 31,700 years ago, Wikipedia, Haplogroup Q, or QM242. This is so because QM242 was a descendant of the Amarins, and the Amarind PM45 lineage, and according to consensus the out-of-Africa expansion could depart populating the Americas with Amarins only 12,600 years ago. On occasions, this, also ancient, expansion was seen as a part of consensus out-of-Africa hypothesis, namely as part of the preparation, of a kind of Paleo indians suitable to turn into Amarins, of the population of the Americas that had not been explained yet. One wave? Malta people carried M3 which is a dominant marker of the Amazon Amarins today. At some point this fact was effectively used by consensus and science to claim the Americas were populated in just one wave by out of Africans, namely the ancient Northeast Asians or Malta people. However, in the out of Africa context, this expansion presents a paradigm, because the end of the Beringia stands still with the supposed first delivery of the Amaranths, that is only the start of the population of the Americas, according to consensus itself, could not be earlier than 12,600 BP, this so mainly for genetic reasons. This ancient expansion to Northeast Asia is now proven not to be a part of the population of the Americas by descendants of Sub-Saharan Africans, and is seen as part of an out-of-America expansion of the Amaranths towards Eurasia at least 25,000 years ago and as such long before the supposed Beringia Amerind released 12,600 years ago. Since it is proven not to be part of out of Africa, and it is not claimed to be some particular expansion, it very well could be an extension of the Austronesian expansion the way I hypothesized it. Temporarily collapse of the out of Africa hypothesis. Independent of what this ancient Northeast expansion really was, the loss of the ancient Northeast expansion as an essential part of out of Africa, must have led at least to a temporary collapse of the out-of-Africa hypothesis. Further, the very Amaranth M3 marker that had been used by consensus as a marker of what was called the Paleo-Indian, 
that consents is supposed to have been the starting population, suitable to be transformed into Amerinds at some point like for instance after the Beringia standstill, was proven to be full native Amerind already and before, already carrying the most typical Native American marker far west of Beringia, and coming directly from the Americas instead of going to the Americas. So, consensus had to let go of the idea of one or more waves of Palea Indians departing from areas that are relatively close to Beringia, just like the Malta region. The situation for consensus had become more complex, because these ancient Northeast Asians were a proof of an out-of-America expansion into Eurasia by Amerinds, instead of an expansion from Africa reaching already near to Beringia. The general public knows little about this twist of out-of-Africa to out-of-Americas, and I suppose that when the general public hears about the Malta people they most probably still will see that expansion as a proof of out-of-Africa, which it is not, instead of a proof of out-of-America, which it is proven to be. I will end this video here, but I can assure, that as expected, consensus would soon come back with a changed hypothesis. Thank you for watching. Bye.